Assalamu alaikum. I am going to briefly talk about the importance of parental reading with children and creating a reading habit in them. This is absolutely vital for any people. Among the signs of successful nations are some practices and hallmarks that stand out prominently. One is the reading habits in individuals, men, women and children. Reading increases knowledge and skills that guarantee their future. Reading habit is one of the best indicators of a successful nation. Building a civilization needs intellectual power, not brute force. The long Muslim civilization was based on knowledge. Ever since early Muslims create, created a vibrant community based on thirst for knowledge. The contribution of Arab Muslim scholars, along with the translation of Greek texts into Latin, fueled the flame of European Renaissance. Sadly, Muslims themselves went into slumber and post-independent Muslim world miserably failed to, to revive that cravings for knowledge. Reasons? Incompetent and corrupt leadership, contextless religious leadership, an absence of a vibrant civil society with the grinding reality of illiteracy, poverty and social stagnation. Muslims are expected to be leading in reading, to succeed in both worlds. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, put immense emphasis on acquiring knowledge. As one hadith says, seeking knowledge is obligatory for every Muslim. The Meiji Restoration in Japan in 1860s transformed the country through a decisive top-down initiative by investing in primary and secondary education. Within a generation, this created a thirst for reading which turned into enterprise and economic success. Most Japanese are avid readers. Reading is liberating. It empowers an ordinary person, enriches a scholar and gives confidence to all in a nation. Reading activates our brain by giving it food for thought. It rejuvenates us internally to take on the challenges of real life. It develops our mental faculty, increases our understanding, enhances our thinking power, and bestows us with the gift of wisdom. Reading increases curiosity and enhances our critical autonomy as a balanced diet keeps us healthy and active, good books keep us mentally agile and spiritually alive. But in the world of information overload, one has to pick and choose what to read and what not to. Learning the art of scheme reading is one best way we can read more, but we need to read deeply when needed. The question is, when should we read? The answer. Whenever we can, sitting, lying, standing, some can even read while walking, but one has to be careful of road safety and public nuisance. Reading on a mobile device needs strict discipline. What should we read? The answer, any good material. But as our life is short and we should also act for the good of others, we should plan and be consistent. Morning and bedtime reading has extra benefits. For children, bedtime reading by one of the parents is a great practice. So, let's be creative in our reading habit. Let's read to write as well. Communicate and help others. Let's also read for our inner joy and spiritual happiness. Thank you.